Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to continue with our melee uh, portion of our platformer. And what we want to do is um, basically go back to making a, a yet another mechanic for our player. Um, and in this case, we want to do a blocking uh, mechanic so that when a enemy attacks him, he can block and some other things can happen. Um, of course, in our last video, um, we were able to set up some buttons and kind of make sure that our buttons are mapped to the certain keys and, and joystick that we wanted. So if you haven't saw that, I would recommend taking a look at that video before moving forward. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's actually pretty easy. This shouldn't be uh, that long. So in terms of setting up a block, uh, what we want is the right mouse button. Um, to actually activate our block and what we want to do I'm thinking is when the player is walking around the scene we want you to be able to hold down the block and when you let go of the button it releases the block so it's not something that it's like a toggle but it's more like you're it only activates when the button is being pressed okay or being held okay so let's go ahead and do that so in terms of the mechanics, I'm just going to go select my mechanic uh, uh, object, game object here. I'm going to right click and head over to game creator, hit trigger. All right. And um, on this particular trigger, uh, what I'm going to do, and I'm actually, yeah, what I'm going to do is actually delete this and I'm going to do just one step further into it. I'm going to do uh, empty game object, create empty game object, and I'm going to name it trigger. And, and I'm just going to name it block. And then I'm going to right click, go into game creator, and then I'm going to go trigger. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, that there. All right. So like I said before, we want to set it up to where they're blocking when a button is held down and pressed. OK, so uh, what we want to do is do change this trigger to an input and on key down it's going to be the mouse um let's see here we're going to do mouse one okay all right and then uh we're going to do another trigger and this trigger is going to be input on key up all right great and then this is going to be mouse one as well and basically we're going to create two different actions for these guys here so i'm going to go ahead and uh, select this one so that it'll create me and automatically uh, create an action and um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and name this action now so we can actually name it um, blocking or start blocking we can just call it start block and then in here the action I'm going to go to melee and then I'm gonna click on melee blocking and it's pretty simple. So in this case, we're going to make sure that this says character um, to player. And we're going to do start blocking. And it only gives you two options, start and stop. All right, great. And so for the next trigger, um, I'm going to do uh, action. And here, I'm going to do it to where it is stop blocking. Now, I'm going to say this now. It's possible where we could actually just have two different triggers as opposed to the way that this is set up. So let's go ahead and actually do that because I'm thinking there could be some benefits to this the, the other way um, for simplicity purposes. So I'm going to delete this, uh, remove this component, and then I'm going to remove this action. And this trigger is going to basically just be a, a trigger called start block. Okay, and so when we create, um, when we do this and we create a button press, we'll just create the other option for our key uh, for our joystick. So instead, what I'm gonna do is right click on here, and then I'm gonna go trigger, and this one's gonna call it, be called stop block. Now you can do this either way; it's definitely um, up to you. But um, this is just one way to go about it. But it's just to show the flexibility of as to how you can approach using triggers and actions um, with game creator all right great so um, I'm gonna go ahead and change this uh, input and this input is going to be on key down 
and on key down um actually not on key down on key up this is going to be on key up and it's going to be the mouse one okay all right great so remember this one's on key down and this one is on key up and it's going to execute the actions that we're going to have set here okay and i can just name these actions and of course you can name your actions whatever you want um i'm actually going to remove the name since we're doing it this way not necessary just yet to name every single action it just depends on what it's a uh, parented to so in this action we're going to do action melee and we're going to do melee blocking and instead we're going to do stop blocking okay all right great so that's pretty much it in terms of the mouse um so let's just go ahead and make sure that that's working as intended um let's see here now i'm gonna hit play and and to just show you why it's connected and why it's working so remember everything is drawing you can't block if you don't have a weapon drawn now if i hit the right mouse button he's gonna go into a, a blocking um pose here okay and so that's what we want and so we want to be able to do that so blocking and you can move and block and once you swing you get out of your blocking mode you're gonna have to click it to go back into block mode and that works out pretty good and if i actually walk up to a enemy it should block it see and that was a different sound than see that so that was an attack and then that was blocking okay and then that's like more like a uh, defensive uh, quick block and so we'll talk about that here soon um, uh, probably in the next video I think I'll go over all those little detail things there so but why is this working um, let's take a look so we have our block and so the question is why is he able to block well this is going to date back to looking at um, um, our attack so let's take a look at where is it and our draw weapon actions so if we look at our weapon and our shield so our weapon and our shield here um, you have your base hammer and your base weapon so the base weapon is here and it doesn't have it looks like there's no default shield here um, but let's see here we have our hammer shield here all right now, um, basically what that means is there's no prefab or anything listed here uh, to showcase uh, a weapon. I mean, to showcase like a shield. So if you look at the prefab, there's no shield here for that. And then on the weapon, you would take this and put it here. So if I was to take this and put it there like that, um, that's not necessarily the reason why it's working. It's just to say that there's a reason why it has the term shield. Now, we can't actually have the character not only show a weapon like we do with our hammer but we can also have them show a physical shield but in this case we're kind of just using the weapon to block so you don't necessarily need this here for this to work because this is really just kind of helping display what you would have put in a prefab for the shield but since we're not using a prefab we're just using the animation um, from the default from this blocking or this defend state here and this defend state i'm going to go ahead and select on this um, here if we select it it's a simple um, state and it has one animation and it's a character blocking animation so if i go in even deeper and i select this and we look at that animation as you can see it's just a blocking animation and that's all that is um, so if you look at the actions again based on what it's doing the reason why we're able to block is because we assigned a shield to this drawing so if we would take if we were to take this off uh, then he wouldn't be able to actually activate a um, the ability to block anything okay so I'm gonna keep it short for this video because I just wanted us to get it started we're gonna take a look in the next video at how some of the blocking works and we're going to do that by looking at some of the examples that game creator has built into its modules all right so i'll see you guys in the next video hey guys thanks for tuning in 
For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon, or of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.